Good morning and welcome back to the Delta News Christmas Eve edition. I hope you're all having a good start to your day and it is a very cold and windy morning out there. We're going to see a Christmas chill for the next couple of days and then we'll warm up heading into this weekend. But taking a look at the radar, the rain that we had last night and yesterday evening is now gone. We're starting to see those showers continue and even some snow flurries mixing in on the back edge of this into portions of Tennessee and Kentucky. But as for us, we're starting to clear out. The clouds are now moving to the south. South Delta and portions of eastern Mississippi still under some pretty good cloud cover, but you can see we're really starting to clear and that's going to be the trend through the rest of the day. We'll get that sunshine back, but really not going to help to warm us up. That cold front's continuing to slice through the southeast, and if you're on the west side of this, it's a lot colder. Memphis, Little Rock, you're now at 30, 23 in Fayetteville. So again, a lot of cold air, and this doesn't even factor in the winds. The wind chills into portions of northwest Arkansas close to the single digits this morning. So again, very cold cold air we're working with on this Christmas Eve morning and as for temperatures mid 30s generally from Greenville up into Cleveland and Greenwood and the further north you go it's a little bit cooler where temperatures are now below freezing into Tunica and Clarksdale but again when you add in that wind that's where it becomes a little bit dangerous. We have wind chills in the 20s, so you don't want to stay outside too terribly long in this. Batesville, you feel like 22, 25 in Durant this morning, 19 in Pine Bluff. So we're starting to have real fill values in the teens in the portions of eastern Arkansas. So again, very cold outside. You're going to want to bundle up as you head out. Use your heaviest coat for this day. As for your current reading in Greenville, 34. But again, the wind not our friend today, 21 mile per hour, making that wind chill drop well into the 20s. Winds haven't really picked up yet in Greenwood, but I promise you they will. We've had gusts here in Greenville and along the Mississippi River upwards of 30 miles per hour this morning. So again, the 24 hour temperature difference pretty impressive, anywhere from 15 to 25 degrees across the area. And again, that's all thanks to that Arctic air that's filtering in behind the cold front that pushed through. And this cold front, it's going to continue to race off to the east. We're looking at this heading up the east coast as we go through the rest of your Thursday. Temperatures here, well, they're going to struggle to get out of the 30s. We may top out in the lower 40s. We're going to keep plenty of sunshine though heading into this afternoon. But again, the winds are going to continue making it feel even colder. And as we go into the evening hours and into the overnight and early Christmas morning, that's when temperatures really start to fall. We could be in the mid 20s from Little Rock to Memphis, even down to the Gulf Coast. And here as we wake up on Christmas morning, I hope Santa brings everyone some heavy coats because it's going to be extremely cold and those wind chill values could potentially be in the middle teens. And speaking of our real fill values, well, throughout the rest of the day, it's going to feel like it's below freezing pretty much all day long, so it's not going to warm up at all. And then as we go into the overnight hours, that's when temperatures really start to fall and the winds pick up just slightly, making it feel like the low to mid teens across northern Mississippi, even down into the Highway 82 corridor. And then by 11 o'clock, it's still going to feel like 16 in Tupelo and Oxford, 12 in Memphis. So again, this is some pretty incredible cold air, and it's going to stick around pretty much all day on Christmas. By Christmas evening, it's still going to feel like it's in the 20s and 30s. So although we may touch 40 today, not going to feel like it. The winds will continue. We will have the sunshine, and some locations may struggle to get out of the 30s today, lower 40s elsewhere. And by tonight, 26 bitterly cold some locations dipping well into the 20s 21 tomorrow morning in Batesville 23 from Charleston down into Grenada 24 in Carrollton so again we're looking at mid to low 20s pretty much area wide and that's not factoring in the wind chills and then going into Christmas Day plenty of sunshine 42 but wind chills remaining in the 30s if you're tired of the cold we'll warm up heading into your weekend